I'm going to show you five colors that I hope to inspire you to keep painting. Here they are. Daniel Smith's five new colors. Let's look closer at these. First up, we have Iridescent Vibrant Raspberry. The same tube that you get, 15 milliliter. There is Mica PW20, Titanium White, PW60, and Iron Oxides with the vehicle of Gum Arabic. King's Royal Blue is our next color. Again, these are all 15 milliliter tubes. In here we have Ultramarine Blue, which is PB29. And then we have PB15 along with PW4. Next color is a signature color, Jane's Black, Blue, Orange. PB15, 6, Naples Red, PR180, Pyro Orange, PO71. Chrome Tiny Yellow. Chrome Tiny Yellow, P. BR24, it's a single pigment. Number five, James Black Red Green, signatured series as well. We have Phalo Green PG7, Pyro Crimson PR264, Let's now look at the luscious color that all five of these colors have. Let me know down in the comments if you have any of these colors. Let's get out some paper and some water and see what these look like. As I paint these colors out, I'm going to read to you some of the cool things that Daniel Smith says about these colors. On their website, it mentions iridescent vibrant raspberry is a stunning luminescent that reflects dazzling bursts of deep raspberry when used over dark colors. That's right. You could use this on dark paper, black paper, different tone paper. It's the perfect color for painting your favorite flowers, bird wings, dragonflies, fish scales, and probably even the fantasy world. This is a series three color, light fastness of excellent, transparent, non-staining, and is granulating. Daniel Smith goes to say that King's Royal Blue is a soft and calming, excellent for summer skies, placed waters, and tranquil florals. While I'm doing this paint out, I'll just read off some other f fun facts here. It's light fastness is a number one, which is excellent, which is, I believe, 100 plus years. It's transparentness is semi-transparent, low staining, and it is a granulating color, which I will enjoy for sure. I would use this Series 2 color for blue skies. Look at that. It's already forming clouds. Jane's Black Blue Orange is a soft, neutral black that's perfect for shadows, metals, stormy skies, and angry seas. Come on. Let's see what this color looks like painted out with some water. Created by using opposites. This mix black is transparent and non-granulating. It's perfect for subjects where blue and orange are the dominant colors, such as pebbles and stones and colorful birds. Try mixing this color with phalo blue red shade and transparent pyro orange. It creates gorgeous rich orange browns. This pigment is Low staining, semi-transparent, light fastness, excellent. Up next, chrome tight yellow is an earth shade that is great for mixing or used straight from the tube to paint florals, leaves, and landscape. 
This is a series number two. The light fastness is excellent. Transparency, well, it's semi opaque. Staining is a number two, so it's a low staining. And granulation, it is definitely a granulating color. For Maggie personally, I think of Northern California hills that are gorgeous golden hills all the way down to Santa Barbara. Our last tube, we have Jane's Black Signature Red Green is a rich dark black that's great for inking backgrounds and natural objects like fur, feathers, or river rocks. This tube pigment neutral black is transparent, non-granulating, light fastness excellent, transparency is semi-transparent, staining number three, it's a medium stain, a series number two. We're going to take away these three colors that kind of resemble primary colors, put them off to the side. Let's take these two dark black colors and let's paint them out next to each other. And what I'm also going to take is I'm going to take two Sharpies, one permanent marker, Sharpie, and I'm going to take a Sharpie pen. So both of these you're very familiar possibly with the color of black. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this out and you're going to see we're going to look at the semi-transparent part of this color next to each other and that they do definitely look different. One leaning more orange and one leaning more to red green. I hope you enjoyed the real-time paint out on those two different blacks. Now let's take a look at these colors that have dried and you can see them wet from earlier and now what they look dried on this cold pressed paper by Kilimanjaro. I'm curious what colors did you enjoy? Put down in the comments if you also found this helpful would you mind sharing this information on your facebook or instagram i also like to know what would you use these colors for in the near future i'll put down a description where you can get these paints and go ahead and smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this take care i'll see you in the next video Mark, my